The Lion Chronicles, quick snippets of truth in a world full of wolves. I'm your host, Pastor John, and this is the show where I bring you the honest truth of God's Word in three minutes or less. A lost part of leadership in the church resides in the wrong focus, as the Bible says in Proverbs 29:18a, where there is no vision, the people perish. The main focus for the church should not be on doing good works, rather simply asking the question, are you born again? The idea of being born again is a very confusing statement to say to those who haven't experienced the power of God in their lives yet. Said best by Nicodemus when Jesus told him it was a requirement to entering into the kingdom of God, we see in John chapter 3 verses 4 through 7, Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, Ye must be born again. Nicodemus was truly interested in who Jesus Christ was. He came by night in order to not garnish the negative attention from the other Pharisees during the day. He understood that Jesus Christ was a great teacher and wanted to know how he was performing all of his miracles lest God was with him. Nicodemus would be considered a pastor in today's day and age who hasn't been born again yet, but is willing to seek for truth. If I were to die today, the number one mission I would desire above all else would be to make sure you understand that being born again takes precedence over every other thing you could do in this life. You must be born again or you go to hell when you die. Thought challenge of the day. Are you born again? If yes, what makes you so sure you're born again?